you like the lockdowns? Yeah, well, like lockdown is, um, is I think it is for important, really important. You for know. two years? For two years, yeah, yeah. That's why I support, support him. Yeah. You know, yeah, the vaccine mandates, you thought that was good? I, I do, yeah, good. I do the four, four shots. Yeah. Ten Daniels not listening. Do you really think forcing people to have the vaccine, why, is it, why was that good? I don't think so. It's a fault. It's a fault? No. Yeah, he said you can't go to work if you don't have it. Oh, really? No, I don't think so. Yeah, then you did that. Oh. Uh, Maybe you need to vote a different party. There's a good guy, Ian Cook. Do you reckon Dan's cooked? <laughs> well, we can only hope so, right? Of you, Mini, for Rebel News outside the early voting centre, the only one in Mulgrave. We're here today, well, firstly, to see if the Premier himself is here campaigning like the other 13 candidates. But much like his signs around the neighbourhood, the Premier is nowhere to be seen. Is it safe to be here with you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're safe, yeah, because Dan's not around. Why is Dan not coming? I don't know. Maybe uh, he, he's busy somewhere. Or he's yeah. embarrassed. I, I'm not sure. You think he's embarrassed of the people of Mulgrave? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. The one safe seat that the Premier has held for 20 years now for the first time under real threat. One in particular that seems to be gaining real momentum. Ian Cook. All I can tell you is the people coming through who are giving us, <laughs> well, making them all feel really good shaking my hand and saying and i get people coming through and i think surely not and then all of a sudden it's oh it's you terrific and you get a handshake and yes we're voting for you and that's across all age groups Avi, i when i first decided to do this i thought what the heck a few people might know my story and if i can turn that into something good to get a few votes and you know make it harder for him then that's it uh, and it's just turned into a flood it's just uh, amazing. It <laughs> blows me away. Why are you here? Why are you volunteering? Where are you from? Because I felt hopeless and powerless during the pandemic and I wanted a cause that I could take injuries on. I am, I'm after anti-corruption and reading about what happened to Ian moved me to travel an hour each way every day to help him out. From where? From Essendon. We need, we need to end corruption. We need democracy back. We have to stop having one man dictate to all of us. We need the Westminster system operating back in Victoria. How are you feeling about it all? I'm feeling great. Look, whoever wins, wins. Uh, between um, Ian, myself and um, the Freedom Party, whoever wins, it's we're all working together. We've got one objective, that's to get Daniel Landry's out, make Victoria great again, and that's what we're all about. I think what you're seeing here is an outpouring of, we want to get rid of this man, um, you know, hold him responsible for what he's done. So, yeah. There's going to be an alignment, obviously. Um, I don't agree with everything that I hear around me, um, but I respect their right to say it, and we're all heading in the one direction, and that is to remove Daniel Andrews. Who's been misbehaving? Oh, where would you like me to start? Uh, Dan. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about these wallies that are out here. Um, uh, has Dan been here? Don't know. No? Do you know who he is? I certainly do. Cook versus crook. So you're gonna anti-corruption is your is is your platform. Correct. Are you gonna be the only non-corrupt politician in Parliament next year? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to know all the others. I'll let you know next year which ones I think are what. But yes, the, I've been told oh they'll corrupt you or uh, you know when you get in they'll get you to do this or that and then they'll say you won't get elected again if you um if you don't do this or do that. Forget it. If I don't get elected uh, again, if I only serve one term because I'm gonna stay straight. That's it. That's it and all about it. I am going to absolutely take it up to this parliament and make it sure that we debate the things that need to be debated now. And corruption is right. It's on top of the list, but we have to look after small business. We have to look after family values. There's a whole range of things that I'm passionate about. Getting down to simple stuff that people talk about, like potholes on the Princess Highway. So we look after a netball team, but we can't fix a highway. We're obviously not seeing Dan Andrews' face around town. There's one sign here with his face. The other one has him with a couple of fake tradies to make him, I guess, more palatable. Why, why do you think Dan's not really putting his face out in Mulgrave? I just think no one wants to see his face anymore. Everyone's had enough of Daniel Andrews. He needs to buy a one-way ticket out of Australia and never come back again. Why doesn't he show his face on his posters out on the street? His face is not on the posters. Uh, uh, Maybe they should put your face because more people no, would vote no, for you. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. 
I really you would vote for her over Dan? 100%. I definitely vote for her over Daniel Andrews, without doubt. We probably outboarded him, if that's the right thing to say, by, I don't know, four, five, six to one, something like that. They basically have a couple of captions, but I think there's a level of embarrassment. I think people who genuinely believe in traditional Labor values, and there's nothing wrong with them. Traditional Labor values, they come through my family. My family were very strongly Labor. But when you get someone who corrupts that, for their own power, for their own benefit, that's when you have a problem. So you have people here who say, I've always looked after Labor, I have to do this for Labor because that's my team. But the captain of the team is not a good person. You should be leading the Liberal Party, I reckon. Uh, you, you've got a bit more oomph in you. Look, I'm not the, the usual candidate for the Liberals. I've been told that. But I'm a fighter, I fight for the people, and I'll continue to fight for every family and business possible. While the mainstream polls are telling us that Labor is set to retain power on Saturday, they also tell us that this is the first time the tyrant seat is under real threat in 20 years. Saturday evening... We'll find out. All right, mate, good luck. Thank Hopefully you. we'll see you on uh, Saturday. No worries. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, share it far and wide. Let the people of Mulgrave know there is a better option and there is a good chance for it. Then head over to followavi.com, subscribe to the mailing list, support my work at Rebel, and follow me across socials, followavi.com.